way to land. In the land boat. To the land boat. Alright y'all, heading to go get a new, a second uh, skip inch and a spare one. It's a two horsepower I believe. So here we go. John's getting splashed. Is it more over here? <laughs> This thing looks smaller on camera, dude. This thing's not that bad. <laughs> it's my boy Blue. Don't talk shit. This thing is so awesome. It has wheels. I don't know. You can't see them right now because it's underwater. But I almost tried to show you. Alright, here we go. had to pull the skiff up the beach it's actually an incline right there you can kind of see it as it goes that way it's down but it's still a nice day on the back roads heading up into the hills about an hour away from the uh, water pick up this outboard engine hopefully it's a good deal we'll see We'll also try to record the uh, deal going down, but first we would like to request that permission, you know, without disrespecting anybody, you know, to how it is, and uh, we'll see. There it is, guys, our new little engine. He it's ran it for us. It's a short shaft. He ran it for us. It ran really nice, so we bought it. All right guys, so that worked out great. And it's actually a really nice little engine. It's lightweight. Um, just gotta get a, a new tank or probably just use this MacGyvered way of the tank, you know, it's just the hose going down into um, into the uh, into a gas tank. Sorry, I'm, I'm driving, so I'm not trying to pay attention to you guys. Um, but uh, we're gonna head down and we're gonna check it out some more city old buildings and everything so pretty up here it's nice so beautiful to see all the old architecture all the old buildings she is and we just saw a blue jay right there back out to the boat it is guys not bad short shaft real short got it hanging on this thing super easy to make it's two pieces of wood screw them together drill one hole this way drill a hole or bore a hole out that way and that way on the same works out real good nice Right now, got a piece of teak here. I'll show you this side. Now, what I'm doing here is just gluing one side with a lip over, almost perfectly measured, <laughs> um, so that it will cover this side so this doesn't move anymore at night and just it just moves enough to make a little noise. But, uh, look at that view. It's beautiful. The water is so pretty. It's moving crazy. And we got my boy Blue back there slamming around. <laughs> it's nice. Super nice. The military helicopters flying. We got Steve hanging out, looking at the scenery. We got Mike over here drinking beer. What's up, Mike? 
<laughs> yeah. Installed one of these motion lights today as well. Just zip tied it from the bracket behind. It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. Just liquid nails, heavy duty. Um, honestly, this stuff is pretty cool on a boat. It's worked great for these shelves right here. Those are totally glued in, no screws. And they've been holding for months. Oh. It actually works pretty good. So, and almost immediately, it was holding this on. So, that's gonna be nice. I don't know if we're gonna leave it that color or if we're gonna paint it, but we might just stain it a little bit. I got clamps holding it on just in case, but that thing held on immediately after I stuck it on there, so. Boom! All right, guys, we forgot to get a lock. So we're headed to the land boat for the hundredth time this week. And uh, we're gonna pick up a lock for that skiff lock it to the safety railing so that uh, one of these pirates out here doesn't get it. It's kind of crazy. You gotta lock everything on deck. You gotta lock everything on the beach. And I'm sure that's true for a lot of the Caribbean and stuff like that. But Southern California is no difference. <laughs> they will take that and it will be on Craigslist. All right, got some salads going. Cooking some spaghetti right now. Kicking it on that view. It's a nice night. Got Chef Boro D right now. Rice Cerrone, the San Francisco treat. All right guys, that's it for today. Um, stay tuned for more preparations of the boat getting it all ready and everything so that we can sail around the channel islands want to go and visit almost all of them and even some of the uh, coast of uh, Mexico hopefully if things open up more we're gonna wait until stuff opens up so that we're not wasting our time but the Channel Islands is definitely one of our goals. It's definitely been a goal of mine for a while now. And uh, getting it all going. So keep watching for more progress. And then some epic adventures.